y nos recogen en este cochecito. Mira, 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 mira. Ah, cochecito normalito, la verdad. Pero qué está pasando, pero gente, ¿dónde me acabo de meter? I mean, you have more than 100k. Yeah, on my bank account. Yeah. yeah. Un millón y medio casi. Welcome to my house. Welcome. <laughs> He was really broken, like really like a poor uh -huh. guy. We are uh, lived in uh, like basement with with mouse. <laughs> with no a mouse. way, bro. And you can't uh, buy yeah. this kind of apartment mm -hmm. uh, by your salary. Mm -hmm. You have to. Hoy quiero mostrarte cómo vive una persona que tiene mucho dinero en Corea del Sur. Me levanté a las 6 de la mañana para tomar el tren que me llevaba a Incheon, a 45 minutos de Seúl, para encontrarme con Jake. Buenos días, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo estamos? Una voz de recién levantado. Por eso me acabo de comprar sin café, obviamente no soy persona y también un kimbap de kimchi la verdad que me apetecía bastante el kimchi vamos a preparar el café ya sabéis bueno es muy típico de aquí de corea os comento lo que vamos a hacer en el día de hoy acabo de venir a casi una hora de seúl prácticamente he quedado con un amigo que entrevistamos hace poquito y me parece que podemos hacer un contenido bastante interesante y os preguntaréis por qué simplemente porque este chico vive en una zona bastante interesante y tiene un piso un apartamento bastante interesante y he pensado en tratar de hacer como mostrando el lugar lugar más caro de todo Seúl, lo que es el área de Incheon, hacerle una entrevista para ver realmente a qué se dedica tanto él como su familia. Bueno, creo que vienen a recogerme aquí, amigos. Y nos recogen en este cochecito. Bueno, un coche normalito, ¿no? Hey, good morning. <risa> Vino a recogerme en un Bentley, coche que, por cierto, mejor que no sepáis cuánto cuesta. Fuimos a su apartamento y me enseñó los coches que había en el garaje. Mira, 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 mira. Ah, cochecitos normalitos, la verdad. Normalitos. Ferrari, Rolls Royce. Yeah. Oh, shit. Pero, ¿qué está pasando? Pero, gente, ¿dónde me acabo de meter? Es que mira qué preciosidad, tío. I mean, it's so goddamn beautiful. Mira del suelo, tío. Esto, esto, hermano. Calidad. Algún día, chicos. Algún día, cuando subamos mil vídeos más a YouTube. Pero es que, mira esto, tío. No, nah, no tiene sentido, la verdad. No tiene sentido el vídeo que vamos a grabar hoy. Vamos a por otro café. Le voy a preguntar porque juraría que me dijo que era como el piso más caro eh, que hay en esta zona, o sea, de Seúl como tal. Entonces, bueno, se lo vamos a preguntar ahora. Second coffee. Salud. Salud. Ok, so, so this place is not Seoul. I don't know, I thought this is Seoul. So this is Incheon. You said this is Incheon. This is the new... A new town, new town in in, in Incheon, Incheon, and uh, also it's one of the most expensive, or the most expensive, in Incheon. In Incheon, <laughs> yeah, expensive area in Incheon. Do Do you prefer to live here in in Incheon or Seoul? I oh, actually prefer <laughs> living in Seoul. <laughs> I'm from Seoul. Yeah, that's why I'm asking because you you've been living there, but also you you live here now, so it's like. But this place is really like like a, like a chill. Like it's really quiet. There's mm. no like club like yeah, the Hongdae and Itaewon. Seoul is so expensive. We've been talking about the prices here and also we've been talking about prices in Seoul. So I have a, um, a couple of like a couple of friends and they said to me, fuck, you know, to buy a house or buy a, like an apartment or something in Seoul is so, so, so expensive. Like has no sense. I came from Spain, but to buy a house in Spain is easier. Well, I live in Almeria. Almeria is like very, very close to the beach, like maybe five hours from Madrid. You can buy a house for 100K. Dollars. 85, 80. That's what I have now. <laughs> I mean, you have more than 100k. Yeah, on my bank account. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah, really cheap. Really cheap. Like, how much is this apartment comparing to this apartment? Yeah. Let me uh, let me calculate. <laughs> oh, no, espera, espera, de porque a ver. Un millón y medio casi. But if you if you buy this quality, you know, my uh, this quality of apartment in Seoul, you have to pay three three times more. Wow. Uh, vamos a ver el piso ahora. Estamos en Incheon, 40 minutos aproximadamente, una nueva zona bastante lujosa tal aquí en Incheon, cerca del aeropuerto y demás. Un millón y medio aquí en Incheon. But if you want to get something like this in Seoul, it's gonna be like three, three, times, times, more. three times more. Wow. You gotta yeah. go to Spain. Let's go to Spain. <laughs> Fuck the interview. Let's go. But I also really, um, really want to go to Spain too. But first of all, I want to go to India. First, India. Yeah, I'm going to go to India this month. <laughs> bueno, yo a él lo conozco desde hace un tiempo, pero no, no hemos sido como muy cercanos. Pero el otro día, I saw him at Fashion Week. And I saw him with, you know, the, the Indian, the Indian clothes. I don't know the name because I, I don't know uh, much. It's called Kuruta. 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 Yeah. And I just asked him, like, why are you dressing like you know, with the kuruta at the fashion week. And he just told me, like, I want to show to my people, I want to show to everyone, like, you know, Indian culture, Indian uh, traditional 
you know, dress. And I said, okay, that sounds quite interesting. Let's talk more about that. So that's why I want to I wanna ask him like a lot of questions about uh, these kind of things. For how long have you been in Canada? In Canada? Uh, just for a year. Just for a year, but you feel like your second home. Canada is really, really, really good. And really cold. Really, yeah. Yeah? Awesome, uh, really. Winter, it's so cold. Yeah, it's so cold that the snow is crazy. If I make a lot of money, like more money than now, I'll uh, take you there. Ah, I'll bring you there. Really? Yeah, I'll with, with the painted. first first class. Really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that's that's a it's gonna be a promise. It's in this video. Okay. But India first. India first. Yeah. <laughs> Seguimos hablando por un rato más y le dije de ir a su apartamento y seguir la charla allí. Antes de ir a la casa vamos a echar un vistacito también como las zonas comunes que tienen por aquí también. Me ha dicho que tienen como pista de golf, pista de sauna, no sé qué. O sea, vamos a ver esta zona también. Golf zone. O sea, esta es la... la anda, mira, está jugando ahí. El señor. Yeah, he's playing. Yo, this is the first time seeing a, a golf zone in a building. Like, to be honest. I saw there's, you know, a pool, gym. Like, but golf zone. Y aquí tenemos el gym. Bastante, bastante grande, la verdad. A ver si se va a hacer unas... <laughs> oh my god. That's so heavy, to be honest. Wow, qué chulo, tío. A ver, esto tampoco me impresiona, obviamente, porque es como un gimnasio. Cuando yo estuve en Tailandia, sí te, eh, tuvimos gimnasio, piscina y demás. Pero bueno, a ver, imagínate vivir aquí. Tienes el... Es un residencial, al final, ¿no? O sea, tienes todas las facilidades para... Para no tener que salir del, del complejo. Mira, aquí hay otra una sauna. Obviamente no vamos a entrar. <risa> Reading room. Creo que está cerrado, pero no es una especie de biblioteca como para poder leer y estudiar, básicamente. This is studio, yeah, for working. Another studio, yeah, there's a lot. Vale, sí. Y aquí tenemos una zona como para, para niños, que es esta zona de aquí. Esta zona de aquí para niños. Por si vienes a trabajar o vas a la sauna o lo que sea. Puedes dejar los niños aquí. Yeah, I think it's like pe playground, yeah. Bueno, no creo que haya mucho niño por aquí, la verdad. Y aquí está como la zona, la zona también así como común, pues para relajarse también. Normalita, la verdad. Pero bastante bien, ves. Aquí está la gente relajándose y tal. Me ha gustado, me ha gustado el paseo. Now we gotta go to to your home. We already see like the common places, but now let's go to your home. Yeah, let's go. Let's vamos, go. vamos, casa, casa. Uh, by the way, I live it. Uh, I live with my family. But you also got your own apartment, right? Yeah, but I I rented. I rented it to someone uh -huh. else. Uh, so people, some like a uh, family live there. Estamos subiendo el piso número 52. Vive en el piso número 52, por lo cual ya te imaginas las vistas. Y atención a cómo abre la puerta. How is that? What the hell? Vale, chicos, estoy preparado. Me quedo los zapatos. Me cantan los pies. Me voy a cargar a toda la familia. Se me olvidaba una cosa importante y es que nada más llegar aquí, en Corea del Sur, ya sea, bueno, Asia por norma general, hay que quitarse los zapatos. Espero no matar a la familia. Welcome to my house. Welcome. <laughs> yeah. But it's nothing special actually. Just... Nothing? Yeah, nothing. That's actually... Oh my God, look at the views. No way. You know, it's, it's not only the, the, the views. Also, the kitchen. This is something important. I, I was living in a lot of places. The, the kitchen are so small. Okay. That's why when I, I just saw it, it's like, okay. So I, don't, I don't cook, so. <laughs> <laughs> My mom and we, we have a housekeeper. So okay. they, yeah, they cook. You gotta wait sometimes, like a lot of time to go. Oh, downstairs. when I uh, really gotta go to the toilet, <laughs> it's quite. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I, I, so I will show my place where I'm living now. My bedroom is so small. Like, I'm okay, but I, I don't usually, I'm not living there. I'm just sleeping, taking a shower. Yeah, but when I live by myself in Seoul, I okay. also live in like a small, small room. Small ah, yeah, house. yeah. yeah. But my sister's yeah. room is kind of, um, it's messed. <laughs> so. Okay, okay. La habitación de su hermana no la vamos a enseñar porque está sucia, no pasa nada. Yeah, we just uh, like hang it. Hanging the mm -hmm. uh, the washes washes the clothes mm -hmm. here and uh, this is a uh, toilet. <laughs> let's, yeah, my let's see the parents' room. Here. Parents' room. Oh, oh, fuck! Looks like a hotel. Big toilet. No, it's a small. Ah. Oh. Just imagine being being here. And you just you just wake up. Let's have a good day. <laughs> This is uh, Jake's Yeah, it's my, <laughs> my room. small room. <laughs> well, uh, it's it's Kruta, Indian Kruta, clothes. Indian yeah. clothes. Actually, it's not small. Like for me, it's normal. A lot of books because she really love how like to read. This is like a Bible uh -huh. uh, for uh, Hindu. 
you can see, letters, like, mm -hmm. like a Bible. Claro, esto la gente lo estará viendo y no, pues tampoco es para tanto, no sé qué. Vale. Tener un piso así, en plan de, de estos, como de este tamaño, en Seúl, es imposible o muy, muy, muy caro. Ya hemos visto que puede rozar casi los 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 millones. Pero la cosa es que es un piso bastante grande, con bastantes habitaciones, la ubicación, las vistas, muy cerca de la estación, todo eso incrementa el precio. Este ha costado aproximadamente un millón y medio de, de euros, que es una pasta en dólares, son como un millón setecientos, o sea, es una locura, realmente es una locura. Pero quiero, quiero realmente como, porque me estoy viendo venir que seguramente haya gente que diga, ah, pues yo me lo esperaba como, como mucho más, ¿no? Mucho más por ser el piso más caro. Realmente es eso, es la zona, el piso está bastante, bastante bien. La verdad que a mí me gusta bastante, la cocina es muy importante tener una cocina bastante grande, el salón es bastante amplio, no sé si, bueno, ahora haré tomas un poco de todo. La habitación de la hermana, la habitación de los padres, una habitación pequeñita donde lavan y dejan la ropa y tal para, eh, para secarse, los dos cuartos de baño, la entrada, la habitación de él, o sea, no está nada mal. Tres habitaciones, está muy, muy bien, teniendo en cuenta también eso, el parking, me imagino que tendrán piscina y todas, eh, todas esas movidas y demás. Y luego está bastante cerca de Seúl, realmente, está a 40 minutos. Ellos tienen coche, siempre se desplazan en coche, con lo cual es una zona bastante interesante. Nunca está en un piso así, o sea, me parece... Wow, I just heard, like you guys, in Korea, you have like, like sofa, but you don't usually use it. You have the sofa like that, you don't use it because instead of being like, like this, Mm -hmm. You guys in Korea are, are like. Uh, actually, it's true. It's true. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I heard about that. Yeah. But I don't know why. We just do it. I don't know. If we just do it. <laughs> I usually uh, um, sit like 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 this. Yeah. Like this. And that's why we have. That's this. why. Yeah. <laughs> Or when I lay down. Uh huh. I put it here. <laughs> <laughs> it's something that has no like explanation. It just it just happened. Yeah, but I, I really don't know why. But I just do it, and my my family also just do it. Yeah, yeah. I, I saw like it's very typical in Korea. That's why I, I wanted to ask like, is it is it true? It's uncomfortable, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's more comfortable. It's more comfortable. <laughs> yes, hundred percent. I'm agree with it. Yeah, actually, I think I'm Korean. There is interesting things uh -huh. uh, that only you can see in Korea. We have a one, two, three. A uh, four, <laughs> four fridge. <laughs> I know one is only for kimchi. Uh, actually, for uh, uh for my house, two is uh, for kimchi. Two for kimchi. Yeah, this this one. You are a kimchi lover. Uh, just we have like, many. <laughs> you, you you love kimchi? Okay. I like, I like kimchi. I, I love it. Try like. Yeah, okay. this one is for kimchi. It looks uh -huh. like this. No way. Kimchi. Pero. Oh my gosh. This, okay, this kimchi is for like maybe six months, eight months, or even like one year? Yeah, for one year. We make kimchi for one year. So, and this is just um, regular, yeah, regular fridge. Ah, this is the regular one? Yeah. Okay, I so, saw kas, more kimchi. <laughs> and some soju. I mean, this is typical, you know, mm -hmm. typical Korean fridge. Yeah. Soju, kimchi. And this is main fridge. This is the main fridge. Ah, uh, oh, Regular. shit, it's so big inside. Like, it's, yeah. Oh my gosh. And, here. and there's another one? Yeah, here. <laughs> also. Oh, fridge. <laughs> yeah, this the is heck? kimchi too. Oh my god. Yeah. We gotta eat kimchi today. Yeah, let's eat kimchi like <laughs> with ramen. <laughs> with ramen. Oh my god. I heard about that too. Like, in Korea, it's so normal to have another... <laughs> We all, you, we always, uh, like most of people, mm. Korean people eat ramen with kimchi. Ramen with kimchi? Yeah. You're gonna eat uh, ramen and kimchi later. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, in, in Spain, there is uh, the air cleaner in house? Ah, this is for cleaning the air. Yeah, no, yeah. we don't have this in Spain. Yeah. In Korea, es muy común que las casas tengan también este tipo de cosas por el tema de que hay bastante contaminación. When you cook, there's a smell, right? Ah. Yeah, it's, it's gonna make a fresh air and fresh smell. Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. And then you walk like this. There's mm -hmm. a lot of dust kind of uh -huh. in the air, right? So we just take vale, the, vale, the vale, dust. Vale. I got it, I got it. It's Fine. not I, like a... I misunderstood it, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Pero también hay casas que tienen como un poco eso, por el tema de la contaminación que hay fuera, eh, muchos días se, se siente bastante la contaminación y es pues para como un poco purificar el, el, el ambiente en casa. 
y no estar en casa oliendo, ¿sabes? Muriéndote por la contaminación, porque hay días que se nota bastante, por eso también hay mucha gente que lleva mascarilla todavía, así que bueno. Cositas interesantes de, de estar en una, en una casa coreana. Yo le quiero preguntar a él, eh, para que vosotros sepáis un poco más, about for getting this, you gotta, you gotta be like a business or you gotta like work hard. You can't uh, buy yeah. this kind of apartment mm. uh, by your salary. Mm -hmm. You have to like have your own business your and business. make it like huge money. Yeah, so that's, what, that's one of the things uh, I, I wanted to ask you. But first, why you love India? I like Indian cultures okay. and um, I like Indian clothes called mm. Ekruta. It, it looks so beautiful for uh -huh. me. It's gorgeous. And uh, I met a lot of Indian people in Korea. They're really nice. I, I just started to like... Uh, mm -hmm. India. Más adelante hablaremos en detalle sobre la India. Like what kind of job do, do your family usually does here in? A... Uh, my dad has cosmetic manufacturing company. Okay. So we making cosmetics for other company. I work there as a researcher, cosmetic researcher. Mm -hmm. yeah. But now you're trying to focus in your own business. I don't have my own business yet, but I'm trying to do. It. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm trying to have okay. my own. So I get. I guess you 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 can work at your dad's company like but without any any. But I don't want to work with my dad. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the thing. So it's it's quite interesting because most of the people they're like, okay, like I have a good job, I can get like a lot of money, I'm fine here, I can work here. But you don't want that. Like you you're trying to focus on your own business actually um the thing uh, i like india like uh, since when i like india i'll, I'll talk to you later <laughs> okay <laughs> uh, making money from my dad's company is mm -hmm. uh it's not that easy but it's easier than from my own business okay because there there is gonna be really huge like huge uh, risks mm -hmm. Yeah, if I have my own business, I spend a lot of money. How everything started, like you know, growing like a company like manufacturing cosmetics. How it started? Yeah. Uh, my dad was just a was a salesman. He was really broken, like really like a poor uh -huh. guy. We uh, lived in a uh, like basement with with mouth. <laughs> with no mouse way, bro. And wow. cockroach. Wow. When I was yeah, till until when I was eight years old, he was I, just a salesman. Uh -huh. And uh, he he doing his work so well. Like he made he started making a lot of money uh -huh. to sell the cosmetics. A actually, that was cosmetics. Yeah, I didn't know about that. That's I, I didn't know about that. Like you, you believe in a in, in a basement like years ago. I still remember so, like when I when I woke up like mm -hmm. a, like a something was like. Um, oh. Like it bothered to my uh, face, uh -huh. but it was when I was a child, I, uh, when I was like seven or six years old. But I still remember it was mouse. <laughs> Just imagine, oh my god! Sí, imagínate levantarte y encontrarte con con un con un ratón en tu cara. Wow! I, I saw in Korea especially like a lot of people they have a lot of money and they are like you but know I don't I don't like a show of yeah. what I have. I don't want people know I have a lot of money mm -hmm. for stuff. But, you know, but I like like have interview like with like a famous uh, Chris. <laughs> I just like it, and he uh, he uh, he told me he wanted to just have an interview mm -hmm. of my house. Yeah, and I'm really what appreciate I'm that, yeah. like because like you said, I, you don't really needs to show like what you got. So that's something that I I, I really love, and that's why I, I say like thank you because you know. I just wanted to show my people like how is this point of view of life because I try to interview a lot of people like but this is something like I, I wanted to show to my to my people. I, I want people see me mm -hmm. because I want people come to my Instagram and uh, see the, the Indian stuff mm -hmm. uh, in my feed. I'm gonna leave here the Instagram. Of course, you gotta check it out. It's, I mean, you're getting like a lot of followers in, in a short time. That's why because people love you and love the content you, you already made for. Gracias. So, Sube contenido de, de, de India porque es un amante de, de India y también sube cositas de Corea y demás, o sea que es un, una cuenta que creo que os puede interesar si queréis saber un poco más de él y demás, de las cosas que hace y lo que tiene pensado de cara al futuro, que eso es más importante todavía, pues aquí tenéis su Instagram en la descripción, o sea que para no enrollarnos mucho más lo que vamos a hacer es terminar el vídeo aquí y vamos a pasar a la segunda entrevista que es un poco más profundo hablando sobre las cosas de, de, de India, que sí es una cosa que me gustaría saber bastante, lo tendréis también en su red social, lo tendréis por aquí también y seguramente yo suba algo también en Instagram o lo que sea. I mean, if you like this video, you should like, subscribe, comment. You know, the like is so important, guys. Just hit the bottom like pa, 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 pa. Thank you for being here. Gracias. Gracias. Vamos a mitad. Muchas gracias, chicos. Adiós. Adiós. Vamos.